Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. David Pendleton here covering hole number seven of the London Christmas Tournament. This is gonna be a par three, and I do drop it a ton of times. So let's talk about it for a second. First of all, I don't know how people are missing the rough bump here. I'm getting comments saying people are missing the rough and sending flyers. I literally took seven practice shots in this round right here just to see if I could get it to happen, and I couldn't. With a perfect ball, I hit the rough every single time and dropped the shot. I dropped this six out of seven times with perfect balls. The only time that I missed was four and a half mile per hour wind, and I did a 360 roll around the cup. In no situations did I ever come close to not hitting the rough. So um, again, I don't know where a couple people are missing the rough at. I don't know if maybe the game is glitched and we're getting like a different wind angle. Um, I have no clue, but this is a very safe and consistent shot. Here's what I will say is that on eight attempts on this hole, right? I took eight attempts. Um, the first one I missed and that, that taught me what spin adjustments I needed to do to get this ball to drop. But after that, seven perfect shots, six out of seven dropped. Every single wind strength was 3.4 or above. So in eight attempts, the game never gave me a wind strength over 3.4. You're going to play this one 0% at mid. Let's say, for example, you start the game up and you get 2.2 or 2.4 mile per hour wind. My recommendation would be that you just immediately switch to a Quasar. If you switch to a Quasar, you're going to have less wind resistance and you're going to probably get in the mid range to threes like I got the entire time. Just because of the consistency of the hole in one with this shot, I would love for you to force the game to give you 3.4. Um, up to 4.5 mile per hour wind. Okay, that's enough of me talking, but hey, I'm really taking my time here. I'm doing the best that I can on Christmas Eve to get this ball into the hole so that hopefully you get yourself a banner. All right, so you're going to go four bars of backspin, one bar of side spin to the left, no matter your wind strength. You're going to be playing with the top of your green ring right there on the fringe line. Um, the only thing that I can think of with people missing this shot in previous rounds, if you're new to Golf Clash, you may think that that green inner ring is one ring. It's not. It's half a ring. So if you're pulling your rings based off that green inner ring and counting that as one, your shots are going to be off. That is not one ring. That's a new addition to the game about a year ago, and it's really thrown off a lot of players when it comes to adjustment. From the middle of the bullseye to the edge of the yellow ring, that's one ring, okay? From the edge of the yellow ring to the edge of the red ring, that would be two rings if you start from the center of the bullseye. Um, I, I guess, I don't know, but I'm just trying to help people. All right, so here we go. Anyways, four back, one bar of side spin to the left, 3.6 mile per hour wind. You're gonna see here that I'm aiming dead center and I'm pulling this about 3.2 rings. Dead center aim here is gonna drop on the right hand side of the cup, but it does drop consistently with that wind. I had a 3.5 mile per hour wind and it ended up touching the flag stick and dropping in as well. So it came in just a little bit more center. I'm gonna show you this replay, then I'm gonna show you the 4.4 mile per hour wind replay. Cause like I said, at four and a half is the only one that I missed. For some reason I had a Titan ball in, so I switched to the navigator. I do go four back, one bar of side spin to the left. Here you're going to see an offset to the ball guideline is just touching the left edge of the cup. But again, my green inner ring is at the top of the rough line. I really hope everybody watching this video drops this shot. Um, it's just such a good opportunity. I know I've talked a lot through this one, but sometimes I talk more in the final round than I do other rounds. Again, just to try to help people out. Um, if you'd like to help me replenish all the tokens and balls that I'm going through and help me stock up for the next tournament, I put a link to my PayPal in the comments section below. I mean, honestly, I'm truly thankful for anything that comes in. I do repurpose it right back to the game to help everybody out and dial shots in. Hey, that's hole seven. Please subscribe, please thumbs up, and the link to that PayPal is in the comments below. Thanks, everybody.